Whoop. Oh! Whoa! Holy cow! But you know they can fool you too. If you feel one, you figure out oh, bigger than the other one, but they're, they're usually running. They're running all about the same size. Four, five, five and a half pounds. We probably, so far today, Aaron, have caught about six or seven smallmouth in that five pounds or better. And I don't know how many in the four pound class. Here's another one, five, easy five. These fish, folks, they love to eat in this river, don't they? <laughs> pretty brown fish, too. Smallmouth are always pretty, but these river fish really have that dark color, you know, these lines and just a dandy fish. And people think I'm crazy when I use these five inch red tail chubs, but look at what we're catching with them. Let this guy go. You know, use with a silver plated jig, and I got a fish again. Sometimes, Aaron, is you know, we were, we're catching them with the chubs, you know, the larger chubs, and then the bite lightened up a little bit. You change to a different presentation and you start catching fish. It's that reflectivity in that jig sometimes. It's a nice fish, too. <laughs> oh, that guy is strong. You know, when you fish with a jig and a minnow like this in the fall, we're not in deep water, folks. We're only in about, that was like 10 foot. Most people make the mistake they use too heavy of a jig. You know, they're looking for big fish, they got a half ounce, quarter ounce jig. This is an eighth ounce jig head, and what that enables me to do is fish slower. When you use too heavy of a jig, you're on the bottom too fast, and bang. To the light jig, I can swim it along the bottom, through all that cover down there, and get a strike from a big fish like this. 